Double thumbs at the end of this one. Complexity, hop to trot. Can they keep the series up? That's what we're looking for. That's the answer that we need here at the SL Pro League season of 12. So let's ride this wave on in. We improved that with the drum beat. So let's see. It's Oboe and Config opening up this round. And Oboe's not messing about. Oh, another one for Oboe. And that is absolute chaos down towards the bottom of ramp. My goodness. Complexity. Quite an explosive way to get started here on Vertigo. I need to calm down. Oh, Hugo, soothe me. No. Great, have some water. Crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, great, great intro, Harry. You know, I love some the hype. water, man. I love some levels. water. Give me a sec. Let me mute your mic. I don't want to in the. Hang on. Is that Glock's rattling there? <laughs> That's Phil. <sighs> well. Sorry. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get the config of Mirage back in this game, right? He was the he was the bottom performer on Nuke for Complexity, and he was quite quite quiet there, but he was just loud and proud over on the first map. Hopefully that does come back. He's fighting A right now with the boys. A fanatic. Rattlesnakes. Ooh, that's an interesting camera. I wonder where that leads us. They are taking their sweet time, aren't they? Burning out utility, burning the clock, and coming up with maybe a plan for the next round. Full existence tier waiting. Right, even if Cole push, they'll probably win the fight, but no rush. Config hiding on the sandbags in middle. Wow. I mean, we were all wondering, like, what a Fnatic have up their sleeve. And I don't think anyone, and I mean anyone, expected something like this. Now, Crims, he's he walking dropped. slowly into the wall. Now, this isn't someone who's, like, waiting and having a... He's, he's by. Not. That was actually just Crims in his natural habitat. The wall rubber, they call him. Okay. It's, it's awful, man. It's a terrible nickname. He hates it. But here's the push. Rush trying to help his teammate out, and he kind of does. There's the delivery, and he's going to drop two in the process. So there you go, nice and quick. That there is what we call delayed gratification, Hugo. Yeah, Comfort grabs a Glock. I don't know if he knew it was a Glock or if he thought it was a P2, but uh, my We've eyes. all been there. We've all been there. Yeah, don't worry. He can just spend $200, Harry, buy the default pistol back. Why wouldn't you? Oh, nice. Good discount deal now. Yeah, 200 man. That's all. That's pretty on cheap. On sale. Buy it while it's hot. Buy it while it's hot and on sale. Ooh. Buy it. Rush. He's not buying it in this round. JW and Golden holding on to middle. They make quick work of the two players in the elevators. Ele elevators? Elevators. Ele elevator, actually, I think is just the the methodology behind the pronunciation of that one. But let's see. Elevators to ele evaders as they get pressured over oh, here in middle of JW on. just playing with his food. Whew. But haven't you learned anything about that from your parish you table? That's not what you want to do. He gets mopped up very, very quickly in response. But now the A-side play looks to come on in. And that's where Config and Blame F, the two Dane brains in the server, are going to try and have their say. Config trying to elevate complexity from this round. He's got that deep smoke that he will play behind. Going round it is Brolin on the sandbags. Config's got a gap. It's going to fade in the next five. So he is up on the chopping block and he wants to strike back. Oh, he just looks away and Brolin peeks out from the sandbags. Could have been everything there for Config. There were three players with their back turned. Now blame. Oh, no. Yet to do or see anything. Now's his time. Plant coming in. No kit for the retake. So already this looks like a dire situation. Ducking the headshots. And he dishes out one, but immediately receives it right back. Crims will close and Fnatic find their first here on this T side. And yeah, this is a, we talk about litmus tests for Astralis mouse sports, but this one is still a big question mark on it, right? Like we don't really know what to expect from these two teams on Vertigo. They have played it historically but not really in recent times. Fnatic played it once at Cologne. The last time they played it before that was losing to Mouse Sports in the grand final, that BO5, for last season of Pro League, season 11. 
So some time now for Fnatic. Ah, yes. And Flush are going to get attacked by a traffic cone. He's all right, though. Don't worry. We've checked in on him. He's fine. Did take 40 health off of him. Put up a damn good fight, did that cone. Oh, it's a bit of a traffic jam over in middle. That double stack delays the push. And oh, Oboe's the eagle. Puts down another. The cone strike back here as they get blown his way. Flusher. Not going to find some heads back in the site, but Oboe hidden behind the double stack. The spam landing onto Config, but not locking in a kill. And Config's just like, sup, buddy? Flies over the top, takes him down. And Brolin, this was up against the four spy round, and he is all alone in a 1v5. This is as dominant as they get for complexity. Brolin, what's he even going to do? He's got two bullets, five kills to find. He needs quite the collateral, so he gets the reload off. And now looks to navigate this one. This Phantom Disrupt, this skin is mm, delicious. Best thing since the Fire Serpent. Fire Serpent still number one. If you know, you know. And that's just behind, you know, the... What are you possibly going to suggest that's better than the Fire Serpent, Trace? The Vulcan. Oh. <laughs> what is Wait, this? Eco round, no, so, somebody get an inhaler. Harry, you okay? <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. Yeah. That's not, that's but that's not my reaction to the Vulcan being better than the Fire Serpent. <laughs> well, it's just all about who's wielding it too, right? Like Shroud can pull off the Fire Serpent. Imagine caring about skins. Flusher knows my man doesn't care about skins. He's all about kills. He's all about headshots, Trace. You'd say Flush is your man. Yeah, like you guys hang out or something? You know my first name? <laughs> yeah, dude, me and Robin just chilling. Oh. Oh, dear. Trying to rob bodies on this A site. Golden, he's going to get ridded of the round. Crimson will respond. Flusher is here as well. What well, AK's Flusher got then? Is it default? Better be default after all of this. Well, let's find out. Oh, it's gone anyway. We don't have to think about it. Config with a quick kill and Crims alone in a one on four. Yeah, but Crims is the kind of guy who means business. Look at that picture. You don't want to mess with Crims. Because Crims will mess with you just as bad, if not worse. And this 1v4, what's he going to do? Sneaks by. A short smoke. Flame in the gross position now. What can he do from this angle? Everyone hates it. Nobody loves it. And Blame collects that kill from that angle. Locks in a fourth for complexity. And now there's no money for Fnatic. So we're back on those pistols, Hugo. I can't wait. What a Fnatic have up their sleeve. I hope they just kind of throw caution to the wind. I don't want you guys standing around for a minute and a half. No, you know, please between don't. you and I, Fnatic, yeah. not a fan of it. No. You know, when Existence was doing it back in the day, it was cute. No one had really seen it before. It was like, wow, look at this. But now, it's like, come on. Yeah, this is a fast paced game. Now we're gonna see McCree. Who? Set up for Sage's flash. <laughs> what game is this again? Combo forces. Combo forces, That's yes. All indeed. the games tied into one. Well, Utter chaos and pandemonium. Speaking of which, that's what Blame F has intended to do here to the Fnatic side down on the A ramp. They don't really have a whole lot to work with, regardless. Mm -hmm. Krim's gonna do something with the Deagle. Just enough to take Blame out of the round. Now he's going to escape back out of there with 19 HP up the ladder. He goes flush uh, underneath B. Not real sure what they're going to try to string together here. I like how we have seen Fnatic use middle. You'll go games of Vertigo where you just honestly won't see middle even be taken once by T's. And that's, I feel like, you know, it's not a great position, but I feel like it's a bit of a shame. Mid's so great when you, when you overtake that A site and come in on those late rotates. If you look at a team like EG, They've shown us on this map some, some really nice B executes where they go super fast through middle over construction with deep smokes down to deny mid info and like nades on this position where Crims is to stop anyone from getting the info early. Nice shot from Crims. Any more if he gets a third kill here, that's a B pawn open, but he's waiting for a rotate that won't come. Poison is hanging around on the A site, his teammate already flanking. Config not chasing it too much. Yeah, Obo swap sides. It won't be predicted. Nice stuff. Cole finding it five to one to begin this map. But we've been waiting for the buys, and here it is. Fnatic armed and dangerous. No AWP. Poison's had his in play since day one.
What we got going on? Anything crazy? I like the yeah, cat. The cat. I like the cat, man. That there? That? That's what we need more of. Or we need to wake that cat up because... Oh, no, because then it will leave. Just thought we were Cats leave. are so independent. They're just like, you know, you wake it up and it's like, cool, I'm going to go about my day and we'll leave. And we want it here. Ooh. Roland looking up ramp on the head of a man to take down the first. Oh. But Blame knocks that boost tumbling down around Fnatic. Takes an advantage single-handedly. Well, he had two hands on his gun. So, can you trust Harry? I don't know. Decide for yourself. Yeah, one man and two kills. Blame could one sh one arm shot at M4. Oh, I'm confident yeah, in yeah. that. You picked the worst. You know, if, if it was like, I don't know. Oof. Yeah. Three on three. <laughs> we'll move on. Nice, guys. Bomb is left at bottom A. Fnatic are not rushing this despite getting the kills early. They are going to end at this site by the looks of things. And Cole checking it out. JW on the flank holding a rush down. Already showing a bit of a precedent. Fnatic being patient. Now Cole are going to come to regret that aggression as now they don't know which site it's ending up at. Obo has to stay at B just in case. Fnatic will be walking towards this A-bomb site with a three-man unit. Blame up in CT. And he's got to care about mid as well. You see he's spotting CT, spotting the spawn. There could be a mid flank. They don't really know. And so in 20 seconds, Blame, if he drops off and maybe throws a molly on the site, he could stall or deny the bomb plant. But there are smokes available for Fnatic. Yeah, that bomb's going to go down just in the nick of time for Fnatic. They'll fall out. Two on three for complexity as they move back in. Are they going to give this a go? That's the big question. They've got money, so they can't afford to give this a look in. But it's all going to be based on like the, the, the how much time they take and what the success is like on these initial peaks. That smoke for the short plant. Flusher has the first. Blame will trade, but... Only onto JW. We still have two short players up, and Fnatic know it's a lock in. They're already pushing to hunt down this saving player. Blame escaping. Does he hang around for the fight? No, he does want nothing to do with it. And Fnatic find a second on this T side. Slow and steady on that A play. JW patient on the flank, deals with Rush. And that, that already is going to put that in the mind of complexity that they can't really get away with any aggression on this CT side. Hard round to lose. But what else can you do? Complexity coming back in with another buy round and they've got the AWP still. This will be their money bottomed out if they lose it. So Fnatic, they can find this third in a row here or third on the T side. They can really get the ball rolling, really get in control of this first half. Oh, but Blame, short belongs to me, he says, as he barrels through that smoke. I don't know if that's what he said, but damn, it would have been cool. Man advantage taken, and Brolin bested right out of the gate. You hate to see it, but you love to see it if you're a Complexity fan, or if you are, just so happen to be the one and only Jason Lake maybe watching this on from the grandstands. Also known as the SL.GG slash fan cam. Yes, indeed, Trace. And that's where you want to end up. If you want to be sharing with a bunch of like-minded individuals the passion for your team. Yeah, because these are the moments that I don't think anyone is going to forget. I, yeah, I have to agree. That's a very profound statement, Trace. Heard it once, had to repeat it somewhere else. Oh. Poison. Is he ready for a man? Well, yeah, there we go. We get the answer pretty much immediately, courtesy of Poison. And now into this five on four, JW, at least ridding us of blame F, that pesky muscular man over in middle dealt with. And maybe that's going to give Fnatic a fighting chance here. They seem very cautious of Oboe's position, man. Flusher has been pre-aiming this every time he's come up the ramp. Uh-oh. But will they check it as they go a little deeper? That's the real question. Oboe cowering down, trying to hide below the uh, smoke and boxes. This might not get cleared if they come in through on the rail side, especially with Rush taking their attention away. We smoke down, there's Rush with a spray. He's got one, almost crims. Oboe spins and goes round the backside to drop the bomb. Now it's just one. JW stuck in spawn with no time to do it. He has to save. Not what he wanted, but there may be an orb hanging around. You don't want to give JW an orb. But 
funnily enough, that's exactly what they've done. He won't take it, sticking with the AK, and at least removing a weapon from complexity is very expensive. They can't reinvest in that one. Even though they uh, had a buy here, it was going to be their last, and so only a bit of cash remaining. Nice play from Oboe and Rush. Good little duo on this B-bomb site. That's up another round, but a costly one at that. Look at all those fans in the cams. Someone's even vacuuming over there on the left, I see. Interesting. With sunglasses on, nonetheless. That's smart, man. Don't want any of that sun or dust going in your eyes. Don't want the sound to be too loud. So That's true, yeah. yeah. It's like when you chop onions, you have to wear earmuffs because it's like yeah. a very... Very sensitive. Very part. sensitive topic, yeah. It's all the sensors. I mean, weirdly enough, Hugo, you used an onion-based face wash, I think, so... Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's why I'm crying all the time. <laughs> oh, it dude, honestly, that eyes. would sound really, that sounds really nice. Like, they put no, cucumbers doesn't. on the eyes. No, I don't want cucumbers on my eyes. On my I want face. something I can <laughs> peel off and eat afterwards, like an onion <laughs> ring, you know? An onion ring face oh. wash. Now that's more like it. Oh, hey, Harry, Kona. I'm sure we can get you battered somewhere. Ooh. The joke is right. you flirting with me, or is that a threat? I can't <laughs> tell which one that falls into. You hitting on me right now? Or? <laughs> JW over here in middle. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, is he in middle looking for this opener. He spots the first man, but dealing with one, it feels like enough of a challenge. What if I told you there was three over there in middle? JW is not aware of that fact. And so he is towing the line between certain death and glory. And it's a pretty thin line to tow. He ends up with the certain death option, which I can assure you is not the one he wanted. They want that AK, though. It's been dropped back in mid. Did the nade blow it away? Oh, that would be a shame if they're going to run and cross together. Luckily, players have fallen back from middle. Just rush here now. Config's going to come and support from the side. Waiting for the boost. Smoke on the molly. Gives loads of room for rush. He's not going to rush the fight, though. Config is low, so he doesn't want to swing out and die. He holds a passive line and then drops the bomb. Nice angle. Rush. Oh, doesn't realize they're already climbing up, and that's a big kill into the B-bomb side. But now Oboe's peeled away from the stairs and has a crossfire with Config. Actually, with all these 1-2 setups, they're going to be needed. Config's gone as well. That bomb is going back towards B, so Oboe has his t uh, attention diverted between mid and the site, but Blame comes in for support and flashes Oboe back in. Crims blind and dead at the same second. It's complexity with seven. Poison even upgrades the scout to an M4 as well. So it's not all bad here for Cole. They actually make some money in that one as well. Fnatic, nice try in middle, but the double setup was too good. And could it be? Is a B site player actually top fragging right now? You're crazy. But it's happening, Hugo. It's happening. It's never been known to happen before. But here it is on Vertigo. We have the guys at B actually getting to play the game. Who ever thought that this is where we would end up? 2020, what a weird timeline. Flusher, waiting down at the bottom of B ramp. Oboe, waiting at the top of B ramp. You see the kind of problem there, right? Nade onto Oboe. He's played this spot when one too many a time. Gonna throw the Molotov into mid construction. But no one's in that position. Poison, you just got wrecked. Wow, Brolin deletes him. Yeah, there's two man set up again in mid. It's different though this time for Cole, even though they knew the position of Oboe in B. There's more secrets to be uncovered. But it's only a mid lurker. You can see the bomb is actually heading A right now. Fnatic going back to this site with that pick on Poison. No one's even close to A. Obviously, Fnatic aren't to know, but Cole being very loud with the rotations, and JW is going to exploit that sound. Config, oh boy, flashing. JW creeping below, and he's got the shot as well. Now he can come in on the back line. He's going to look to cut off that B player instead. Coming through the spawn, Blame turns and deals with him. Now it's up to the four on the site, but a bomb plant allowed, and that nade won't deny it. Good damage, but Brolin follows up with cover, and Fnatic can fall back into this short setup again with the bomb planted for them. A save for complexity is all they can muster, and Fnatic with a third round on A. They're, they're not like going for A rushes and five-man stacks here and just running up the, the ramp as so many teams do, but they're playing it methodical. They're playing it slow, and they're using that mid-lurk that we wanted them to here in this T side. It's a good showing from Fnatic.
Yeah, what's the reward for that like methodical different approach to Vertigo? Three rounds on the board to seven on complexity. You can see why A is so popular. Yeah, when they go B, they lose. When they go A. They win. Oh. Isn't it that easy though? Like, I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> Trace, one of the best things you've ever said, and a line that I frequently recount in every pug I play, is this game isn't even hard. I don't know what, what you, you guys are talking about. Like, well, I, I mean, it's easy. You run around, you get the headshot, you use the time to your advantage, you play the round out because of the map space that you've been given. And pretty much all the dust settles there on, on those two. So, yeah, those two, four things. <laughs> Yes, there's 24 things. 24 things. Are Cole going to try and deny a bomb plant with nades, or is this just for ramp damage? Because they've bought up a yeah. hell of a lot of HEs. I think it's just for looks, Hugo. Yeah, they're just going to throw them off the map. I mean... They call this the he, 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 he. I get it, because they're HEs. That's actually pretty good, Hugo. I'll be here all night to explain the... Oh, oh yeah. way we go. Off the side. <laughs> you saw his little blue <laughs> X-ray dotted off. Ah, he even smoked, don't forget about me. He even smoked the molly. Like he smoked. He was a fine. He was alive. What happened? I don't know. Times the pressure. You know, you just can't handle it. And in this case, the pressure is being applied there towards B, yeah. which is a completely vacant site. Complexity just kind of trying to wrap their heads around how their homie has fallen off the side oh. of the map. What would be really cool now is if Obo like re-emerges, like jumps back up into the B site from yeah. all the way down there. He just goes back up B ramp. Yeah, <laughs> it's like some secret route round. Remember when you could fall from top elevators oh, to the, the catwalk? Hell yeah, I remember that. That was fun, dude. Nothing like rushing that with a Mag 7. And Are you talking about, do you mean uh, this? Like... Not, not super old, like, like this Vertigo. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, I see, I remember old Vertigo where yeah. you could just leap from CT spawn. Oh, into yeah, that was, that was cool too. That, that was, was lit, man. I'd love to play You thought the Dust old... 2 doors were, were, were a nuisance, right? Try having to hold your spawn for the first minute of a round. Okay, I hope we have this on replay. I really want to see. Of course see we do. Obo flying. Come on, let's roll it back. Obo, what happened? Uh... <laughs> kind of walked off, man. Got lost in the source. And that, kids? Oh, was he looking for the AK? It was on the ground next to him. Maybe he dropped it on the way down. Uh, he went he down to get it. Rifle. That's what it was. He went yeah, down to get yeah. It. He picked it up. He's going to deliver it to them now. He's trying to like like a like an action movie, like chase it down the side of the building and catch up by making himself all aerodynamic. It's Jason Statham over yeah, here, yeah. That teleporter. I mean, everybody does kind of look like him. Yeah, a lot of similarities there. And I guess in that notion, Rush kind of looks like Dwayne Johnson, so also known as The Rock. That's another reason why Cobble should come back. Because you had the Dwayne Johnson call on that map. Yeah, there's nothing more fluid than mid-round going, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson. That's <laughs> <laughs> right out off the tongs, right? Trace. If you if you right say out. it three times into a mirror, legend has it that he appears like in the room with you. Like before you or behind you? Like how's that? Like where does he peer exactly? Where do you want him, Trace? <laughs> right. Well, uh, um, yeah, no, it's more like a, like a threatening way. So I guess like behind you. Huh, interesting. Give that a try. Let us know how it gets on. Lots of nades again for Cole. <laughs> Ooh. Lurking above all is config. Fnatic is just so painstakingly slow here. Cole just don't know where it's going until it's already there. Now it's a fast mid to CT, the classic, as Brolin runs them down. There's going to be on both sides, traded by Golden. Poison gets one. Oboe in the smoke brush finds him. Oh, but he doesn't take the shot. And Oboe, now with a chance, don't fall off the map in this smoke, bud. Back up into safety, into sanctuary, and shoot Crims back on the boxes. It's just okay. JW, and they get ecoed. Cool. Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson. Nope. Oh, no, dude, he's behind you. Oh, I must have just missed him. You see, there was a leprechaun in a tree. I guess you guys never seen that clip, but whatever. 
I'm so sorry, Trace. It's okay. So what film is it from? Give me the film name. It's not a film. Oh, uh, that's just... bad. Right then. Well, is this an A rush? It could be. It could be. It had to happen at some point, but blame is here to play the blame game and put all the blame onto Fnatic. Crims hiding in this smoke. Oh. Look at him. Look at him, seasoned Blame warrior, but Blame's already not yeah. believing it. Oh. Hiding close, there's the first. Any more, the trade comes in for JW, who gets up fast through short. He's already in the A site, and there's still players challenging ramp, but spotted oh. by Rush, who peeks it precariously, scared that there could be a man already up, and he was right in that assumption. The mission now for Fnatic was to rescue JW. They've done that, but now they've got to long out this three on four. Yeah, config swap size to short as well, where JW just was. But because they've all backed off, Col actually have this info fairly ahead of time. And so they don't need to overstack this A site right now. After time, I imagine they'll begin to move, but Opus fine at B for the time being. Gone making noise. Bomb is going back to A though. Don't be fooled. This fake. Well, that's all it is, a fake. Obo sees nothing but uh, a couple of bits of utility. And Golden goes back to reunite with Flusher and JW. Flusher's been holding here this entire time. And so have Cole. Still yet to move. Poison in spawn. Config on short. And 25 seconds. Fnatic, they don't have the manpower nor the time to clear out both positions. So if they kill Poison or even get the, the smokes down and get the site under control, Config could easily slip into short and knife him from the side. Golden crossing. Oh, Poison spotted, but he can't look away. There's another player on the ramp. Smoke is down. Config is going around, and he's already getting pressured. He will find Golden. Plant coming through. They can't stop it just in time, but JW gets dropped by the climb of Rush. Flusher in a clutch with one. Yeah, what could he do here? Flusher trying to look for these fights, and they come to him. So do not worry, Flusher. You got what you wanted, and now you're left asking, is it really what I wanted? Nine on the board for complexity. They win that one out, and they're looking back in control right now. There is still money for Fnatic, so there can still be a buy coming in. They do well to get it so close, right? They get the bomb down, they're in a two on three, but obviously with the time being so low, they just rush the plant and they deal with him. Attack pause for Fnatic. They've been using these liberally throughout this series. And now feels like a good time to call one in because there's still a shot at a six to nine half. One thing I will say is that I think if you're Fnatic, you needed to, you know, even if you end up with nine rounds, while that's like definitely workable, I feel like you need a bit more, man. So many teams are able to do incredible things on T side Vertigo. And so it does make me a bit worried. Like what a complexity you have up their sleeve in this second half. Yeah, six would really be, I want to say the bare minimum for Fnatic, but is that attainable? We have to wait and see. It's been some nice rounds for Cole. It's good patience as well, not falling for these slow Fnatic rounds, right? It's ever since Rush flanked, and that was denied by JW. We haven't seen Cole try and push aggressively at all since, and they're not going to make that mistake again. Poison spotted, goes both ways, hits the shot though with the AWP, and Brolin is gone from the round in an instant. And this is really just what a lot of this T side has been. Fnatic waiting around. Obo in the same spot. Flusher hits his monitor or his keyboard or something. Or other. Grenade up into the side. But yeah, he's not falling for it. Obo's been here almost every round. That's why Flusher is so attuned. And Golden sees the arm. He's going to spam him back. Down to 50. Config trying to help him out. But how much help can you provide? Obo jumping as well. He can't fly off this time. The Molly burns him out and the flash back in. Config dodges it. Gets to the back of the site. But the pillar soaks up the bullets. Three on three. This is a good round for Fnatic. They've made it worth their while. They're in the site, but they're all tagged up. And Blame looks to finish the job. Yeah, that nade doing a little bit more chip damage. Down goes Crims. JW and Golden left up in this one. Blame's been holding this back left peak for a very long while, and he finally gets rewarded for it. JW armed with a Galil of all weapons. Not one that we've seen him do too much with before. And maybe not now, as he's getting spammed, Whoa. but there's the man off the bomb. All right, JW, let's make this a little bit tricky. Let's get cute with it. Through the smoke, Blame holds his ground and locks in the round. 10 on the board for complexity, as they now reach double digits. And yeah, RIP to that fallen hero down towards the back of the site. And it looks good. They look compelling. They make a compelling argument. Not that they just look compelling, they look convincing. 
So just one round left in this half. Vertigo. We knew it was going to get decided here. Just joining us, you're wondering, oh, where, where the heck is Astralis, man? Harry, tell them where Astralis is. Astralis, man. Well, you know, they, they're, they're getting ready. They're getting limbered up at the sidelines. You know, I can see them right now physically from where I'm sitting. They're oh, on the okay. side of the server. Doing some uh, jumping jacks by the ah. looks of things. Getting ready for this 9.30 affair as it's been pushed back a little bit thanks to this game being such a, a bomb burning affair. And then we obviously had that tech pause in between which probably added some time on. Sorry, Astralis. I hope you can accept our eternal apologies. But opening this round up, it's Poison. Two HP remaining as he dodges death. Looks it dead in the face and then says, yeah, go on. Back to back rounds, he's killed Brolin on ramp to open it up. Poison has been huge on the CT side to find opening kills for Cole, but JW and his mid lurks up to tricks as usual, catching Rush on that CT spawn. Obo's pushed on B this time. It's JW hunting for the fight, and Obo's giving away his position with a kill onto Flusher. They should be able to peek him, and there it is off the back of the smoke. JW cutting off the rotates. <laughs> Luckily, there's railings there nowadays. You don't fall off for free, but Poison on 2 HP with a quick shot has left Crimson a clutch for the half. Yeah, it's not going to be easy for all mate Crims. Oh, it's really not going to be easy. And Blame just sees to his death right away. Signs that death warrant himself. 11 on the board for complexity at the end of this first half. Fnatic, it's looking like it could be another Mirage affair. Are they going to pull things back? The Swedes on the back foot and complexity leading the charge. Oboe might have fallen to his death, but other than that, they're riding high right now.
Paul Broly, Complexity. Running it now, but of course, Obo taking an extended flight. Not always the right brother, <laughs> but uh, perhaps they will close it out here nonetheless. And this has been a close affair up until this point, or at least it would feel like it. Fnatic needing some Ooh. answers here in the second half. You can tell they're not super happy with the way that happened. It's an 11-4 score line. Complexity will try to get things started here on their T side. And now would be the time to close the door on Fnatic. Yeah, let's see if they can. It's a fast ramp play. And look at this. Poison with the... Oh, all damn three Bye. belong to Poison. And goodbye, a site. Hello, Complexity, as they've moved in for the killing blow. Poison, he's even taking fights. He's the guy with the bomb. He was meant to be putting in the numbers. And he's like, the only numbers I know are the ones on the scoreboard. He's in with three, looking to take more. And Poison Man, at this point, there... Oh, it's oh, Obo to oh. steal it away. That little snatching man sneaks one past him. And so the ace is denied. Poison, nice 3k. And while that was a pistol round, that's kind of what we wanted from Fnatic on the T side. Don't get me wrong, they had some great rounds, like only four, but, but some nice ones. But yeah, n not really going back into those fast A's that we know can be so good if you just send all five players up and just run down your opponent's pistol round, though. Pistol round. Keep that in mind. We'll see what Cole have up their sleeves for the later ones. Roland waiting, and Poison's just going to drop shot him. Four in the round. Excellent stuff. 12 to 4. Boy, oh boy. Fnatic pulled this game to OT, or last game to OT, to win it in double OT just to get beaten up on the third map. I mean, there's still a chance, right? But they're forcing up, limiting their gun rounds to one up against 14 4. That's all assuming they don't win it here and now, but we'll see. Eagles, 5 7s, an MP9 on Brolin. Obo setting flashes for his team up A. They're going to run right through. JW's here. Crims as well. Quick tap onto config. Lovely stuff. Smoke spam. Blames ahead of it, though. Poison flashing him up. Right now, respecting the smokes put down for Fnatic, especially with the man advantage. You don't know if anyone's peering through. Blame doesn't have a lot of info from his position. Deep and Molly to clear his short. But they now need to throw one on the sandbags. Blame does have that available. Poison shuffling guns back, swapping out to Blame. Giving him an actual rifle. JW can smoke himself off here if he wants. And he wants. Kind of trapped, though. Yeah, JW's having to take this like 20 second period to just come to terms with the fact that they know where he is and that's probably not good for him. Oh, no. And that Molotov signals Ooh. the start of it being not too great. The trade comes in. The fact that JW gets one is great. He did his job. He did what he had to do. And now he's to sit back and watch as the rest of Fnatic try oh. and keep this round in their hands. Golden will do that. In with one, through the smoke, lots of damage done onto him, but not the killing blow they were hoping for. And Brolin, oh, I was gonna say, yeah, Golden's got up and over. That's a little bit overzealous there from the IGL of Fnatic, trying to steal one away. Poison, in through the smoke, makes it look easy. It's left onto Flusher, 1v2, CZ in hand. And is he defeated yet? Ooh. Certainly not looking like it. First kill on to blame, just Poison left to find, but he has been the real heavyweight for complexity. And he's not getting given this fight, oh. but Flusher with the CZ. He makes it look good. Defuse going to come on in. Fnatic, they've stolen that round away when they had no business doing so. Yeah, Poison, that's just bad timing, right? He, he plays passive on the tap, and then as soon as he peeks out is when Flusher comes back to the angle and just beats him to the punch. Great shot. Flusher, one of the only players that can make the CZ look good. Just look at that timing. Immediate dink. And the defuse as well. That that's a lifeline for, for Fnatic, right? And nothing else. Winning a second round after losing the pistol has bought them time in this series, in this third map. How much time is it? Cole only gonna eco one, then they'll be back in with guns. Up the A ramp they go, but deep smoke again for Fnatic. Double mollies as well, really trying to lock down this territory. They've got double nades being lined up as we speak in the right cubby, one of them at least, but no one there. I like the pressure Fnatic are keeping up on A. Cole would just fall back to leaving Poison here with the AWP and not really having a lot of uh, players here. But Fnatic are hanging around to take fights. 
Obviously, knowing they're up against pistols certainly helps as well. Blame through the smoke. JW could lay this whole round to rest. Oh dear, they're getting close though, and he's going to choose to back up. Rush oh, with a Glock. JW is going back in for more. It's short. He didn't. Didn't. Oh, oh it's weird. Get out. Yeah, he's trying to leave. He's trying to depart, and he does so with a bit of a parting gift onto Blame F. So. Ooh, Poison with his Deagle. Green with Envy at the fact that Golden snuck that kill. Sorry, JW snuck the kill away. Gets the revenge. JW still putting up numbers, but Deag down. What is happening? Config wrapping around in mid. He's only got a Glock, but a Glock versus a man who does not know you're there can do damage. Luckily enough, Brolin, Spidey senses start a tingling, and he turns back round. Oboe and Blame left in this one. And Crims, he's been a little bit of a just sneaky boy over towards short side, right? He's been hidden here. They're not going to get that bomb down. Brolin denies it. Blame, don't save the Glock. That is a bold oh, move. No. They're gonna and they're going to... Oh, they're not going to give him the kill. No. Blame's like, please just let me die. And no one is doing it. They wait till the time ticks down. <laughs> Fnatic with the ultimate middle finger to Blame F. They won't even give him death. It happens on their terms. And their terms leave complexity in a really rough spot now. That is beautiful. I love that from Fnatic. They all just start to run away. Even, even the player on the boost just doesn't shoot until the time's expired. He's like, I'll die for this cause. Screw it. It's worth it. And yeah, Blame's now on a Deagle and a rifle round. That's not where he wants to be, but undone by Fnatic's decision. Rolling with a molly on B, drops quickly. Blame in middle with a teammate. Bomb below A. Deep smokes again for Fnatic. This control is just so hard to get away from them. All the nades and all the sprays. Config put down to 30 by the bullets. Hole taking a bit of a beating, just getting up the ramp. And even bottom B smoked off. Oboe locked out of this site. Still making his presence known, so Fnatic don't aggress when he does leave this position. And he might leave it soon, because grouping up on A are complexity. Yeah, this would be quite the lead to squander. You don't want to see it go that way if you're the side of complexity. They've got that cushion so far. Cheeky boost to look over the smoke. They got crims up. See, I would have loved to have seen that boost the other way around with the AK up there instead of the M4. But that's just me. Yeah, we can't always get what we want, though. So. Yeah, that's true, man. I guess you've made a good point there. <laughs> ah. That hits right in the fields, but now we're going to get hit right in the A site, and it's Fnatic trying to answer back, and answer back they will. Bit confusing for Crims over towards the short side. Now Rush fighting tooth and Ooh. nail, but he's going to get nailed down by JW. Seven on the board for Fnatic. Can they do it? Are we about to have? Now, <laughs> brace yourselves here, because are we going to have, right? So if you guys remember, you can think back to that new game new game that happened. We were all there. It's 13-5 to Fnatic. Then Complexity pull it all the way back to 15-14. Then we go to overtime. Then Complexity, they're laughing. They're like, ha ha ha, guys, we're 18, what was it? 18-17. Uh, we got this. No, double overtime. And then Fnatic win. It was a hell of a comeback. And it felt so unlikely. Well, this comeback felt just as unlikely, if not more so. And Fnatic, they're making it look doable. 7-12 to right now. Still time for Complexity to emerge merge victorious but with players like JW coming alive in a very big way in this map it's going to be an uphill battle yeah and more pistols as well we're just on that buy eco buy eco grind for Cole they're not getting the full rifle rounds not for another one giving Fnatic more money more confidence and one step closer to that scoreline nice nade in middle through the rafters Ooh, Brolin. Oh, he goes back for more. His biggest regret, Rush on the other side. Throws the AK back to a man with more health. Complexity, sneaky, sneaky, back down the ladder. Below A, I can only assume. Bit of a go-to. Config's been patrolling. 
AW looking down from a long way away. He's got that info ahead of time for Fnatic. He can call for rotates. He's the only man here. Oh dear, dropping off at the worst of times. He will have a chance to pick his fight, but flashing back in. They're getting closer by the second. Oh, and he doesn't know. He hasn't seen four players. He's seen a couple. That's it. The first steps will give it away. Blame on the site. Catching Golden looking the wrong way, but a missed shot and no armor. Spells disaster. JW with a double. Golden almost kills his teammate, but instead he bails them out alongside Crims. Gets scary, but it's still around for Fnatic, as it should be, considering how little Cole brought into it. But this yeah, is pretty, another buy. Pretty fast round right there, all things considered. The way it just all transpires at the end. And you're right, Golden. But you know what? A lot of shooting going on around here. Perhaps I'll shoot at anything that might sound like it's shooting in my direction. Ah, here we are. What have my degenerates brought out today for us? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, no. Obo, though, big mad. I just realized we got like Obo versus Obro on the other side. Like Obrolin. Right. There's something there. We can work on that the next time we Ooh. get this. Brolin. Aggroing from B, but oh, Rush no. was waiting for it. And so now we find ourselves on an even kilter. It's four on four. Fnatic. I haven't been tested in a way like this in a little while. Jane Elby, you trying to get cheeky? Flame on the other side. Doesn't want to let him get back into this round. And so he shuts JW out of it. And advantage now siding with complexity as they start to creep their way up through the ramp in towards this A site. Blame is already very, very deep and Crims might not be ready for this. Blame, another in the round and suddenly it's a four on two exploding into this A site. Golden drop through the smoke is just not, not his day. And Flusher now alone in an impossible clutch, even for him. Yeah, get the AK and Scarper out of there seems to be the only call for Flusher. 13 for Cole. And oh, a big sigh of relief for the Complexity Gang as they take yet another after a bit of a streak for Fnatic with four in a row. Your eyes didn't deceive you. There has been one injury on the job site. That would be Obo. I love how that updates actually. Pretty cool. Obo with the Bobo. If you know that. But he ain't no yo-yo, because he did not come back up once he went down that low. But Frodo... He's going to make that journey. He's going to go-go. Man, even Brolin was shaking his head at us. That's bro, man, we can't be on our A game 24-7, all right? Like, what do you think <laughs> this is? Jimmy Fallon show? I don't think so. Well, exactly. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I just know it's a thing, I think. Was that You guys have, like, what, James James Cordon Blue or whatever? Yeah, George, James Cordon Blue, man. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, James Corden, mate. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's okay. He's more of an American thing now. Yeah, you guys you know, stole him, I think. Well, I think he started yeah, doing, like, carpool know. karaoke, and then I did an episode, and they vowed to never do that again, so... That episode you did was fire, man. Like That was great. Got to sing some of those unreleased tracks. Dude, you crashed, obviously. Don't know why they let you drive. Yeah, I mean, I came through dripping. Drip, drip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Complexity. Oh, it. Gonna try and move in towards the A site with Poison again. And once more, he's been so good at getting these entries, and he's continued it, hasn't he? Config helping out. And sorry, Brolin, man. You've experienced what it's like to play at B. And this is it. This is it. At the height of a B player. 1v4. He's going to go round. Might make us think maybe I'll do something. But in the end, you know it's inevitable. He can't do anything. So he's going to hide here. Beneath the construction. Trying to build something out of this round. To get him out of it with the AK. Taking a safer path. Obo was below B. And so going middle is the right call here. But yeah, that's us hyping up a save at this point, right? 14 for complexity. That's the real meat and potatoes. That's the main course. Starter may have taken a couple of hours, Trace, but we've chowed our way through it. And right here, right now, complexity, just a couple of rounds from closing this series in their favor. A map that we haven't seen these teams play often. And so we weren't sure what to expect. 
Boom. I'll tell you what to expect. Just two more rounds of complexity dominating. Fanatic. Sorry, I just want to change the pace up a little bit in here. NA fanboys to my right. Yep, that big Navi versus OG game that was just teased. That's not coming up after this. In fact, it's going to be Astralis Mouse Sports. Yeah, and that's going to be a good one, man. Like, you know, you got the new look mouse taking on the new faces on Astralis. And everyone's been, uh, it's all I hear. Everyone's loving Astralis. Like, who knew? Man. They're back. Up. Oh, run boost. Let's go. Config. Woo! Over to the other side. Oh, Lion start. But is it going to continue? Brolin over in the cubby. Config. Oh, the flash is good. And Brolin was ready. Oboe does at least trade. And in the battle of Oberolin, Obo comes out on top, but Flusher then keeps it in the advantage of Fnatic. It's a very topsy-turvy round over here towards Ramp. That Molotov gonna heat things up for Flusher, and so he decides to get the hell out of there while he can. But his teammates on A, they're not so lucky. They're getting poisoned. While this B play still looks like a possibility for complexity, Fnatic, they're radioing into Flusher. They're saying, mate, you've got to hold down this side of the map on your own. Flusher, we know he does his best work alone, so like, who, they're fighting over who gets boosted. Blames the man to go up. And still hasn't been able to wheedle out Flusher just yet. He's still here, still putting up a fight, still delaying, perhaps most importantly, buying time for his teammates to rotate on over. But finally, he meets his maker. Yes, V heisty muta. As they say. What does that mean? V heisty muta. Von Nikki Lauda. Mama Lauda? Trace, oh. all of your references are lost on us, but I, well, I, I, I thought, thought you guys were fluent, trying. fluent in German now, but I guess you're not. Bomb plant coming in here for complexity, undutably. So Rush takes down JW, and we go up to 15, finally. I, uh, I like how Flusher was using was the position that Oba was playing in that first half, right? Like behind the sandbags. Funnily enough, he kills him from there. But uh, what's e what's even better is that Blame has a set molly for that position. Like He's like, yeah, this one's so good. We use it. So I need to know how to counter it. And it does work out. Pushes Flusher back. Complexity just methodical, very slow. Fnatic weren't heavy rotating because they hadn't actually seen all three. And Cold just pushed it over. 15 to 8. One more. Might be all we have in store for you folks at home before that next series starts up. Fnatic fighting back on the ramp. Blame's got him. Crim's gone and Blame blind. Already moving forward. JW just switching to a gun. Good timing, but he is going to hit the shot. AK at his feet now. A chance to make this round interesting after all. One of the two weapons the Fnatic foster in this round. Yeah, no one in B for Fnatic. Both these players that were there are now creeping their way over into middle. And one of them's even rotated round. So there are three players with a fourth that can come in quickly. Fnatic still up against overwhelming odds, but they've done well to make it closer than it needed to be. Let's see if they can go any further than that. JW in with his second in the round. And now Comfy getting a bit loud, but JW just finding shots through smoke. Is he going to push it? He could be on for the ace here, but Golden makes sure that doesn't happen. Regardless, JW with four. In a round that Fnatic had absolutely no business winning. Nine on the board now. Yeah, this one's come down to the wire. And by that, I mean 15 for one team. And that's where we will sit inevitably on the versus graphic. Yeah, there we go. So 15-9, the score. Complexity, just one round away. Had a bit of an endurance test on Nuke. As you can tell on the top right, 22-18. But the stress test is, that's all complexity in this notion. Brolin makes it all about himself. He pushes up with the SMG and finds the kill, the opener in this round. It's gonna go in the way of Fnatic Obo trying to fight back some of this B aggression. Brolin not really having any other. Flusha says, you know what? I want to party too. She didn't have to throw this big fire in the middle of our party, man. Got blame boosted and they're just waiting for Fnatic to rear their head somewhere. It might just happen if Roland gets curious. Obo able to eliminate that of Flusha with an AK. A very passive play here from Complexity. It's not going to pay off for Config. You could tell how they just sort of, they spread out. They saw that some aggression was coming in from B. They wanted to know if perhaps Fnatic would do the same thing across the entirety of the map, and they didn't. This is going to be awkward. Golden, he sees Blame F boosted on top of the box. Blame has to back away. And in doing so, drops a grenade. 
with Golden and Crims just lingering around in the middle. And now all attention for complexity looks to be set on the A ramp. It wouldn't be a finish to this map unless it was on the A ramp. Now, Obo just walked past the Molotov that was on the ground, just dropped there. Luckily, two of his teammates have them. There's a player at the sandbags. Yeah, but so with that smoke getting dropped, they do still molly the sandbags. They were trying to like bait complexity to not molly it by, by giving like the sign with the one way that we're in the site, but they still take precaution. They've mollied the sandbags. They know oh. that JW's there. Okay. No one's watching Hello? it. No Hello? one's oh, watching shit. it. JW, who oh. threw the smoke? Who threw it? Blame. It's not got enough time. The round goes the way of Fnatic. And even though the molly was smoked by a smoke that they saw didn't what? come from the bomb site, they think it's the it's a ghost. In a way, it is. It's the ghost of Ovo. I just, I, I, yeah, they had to plant. That's the thing. They knew JW would try and stall, and they had to try and plant, but communication gets the better of them, and no one even watches the behind or the back line there. Yeah, they just get jumped on. That dude's still hoovering. He's still vacuuming in the top right. Respect getting that floor clean, and this game is anything but clean. It's a mess on both sides, but it's given us a great battle. Fnatic not letting go, man, just holding on every single round. That's a big blunder, though, for complexity. And yeah, I don't know. What else can you say about that? Boo-hoo. Oh, well. Got to try again, but this time it's Blame F with the AK. Everybody else got what they could down to a reasonable purchasing price. Purchasing power. This has turned into what was a knockdown drag out into a slowed down molasses drip sort of affair. Oh, they came through dripping in molasses. Um, <laughs> that sounds horrible. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> oh, experience. Yeah, man, head to toe in that. Really? That's cool, man. Is that what happened last time we went to like Canada or something? Blame one on three. One on two. This is for the game, and he's low on HP. Just enough time to potentially get a frag here and get the bomb planted. But how will this shake down at the end? He doesn't get that information. He doesn't know that Brolin has crossed over to the orange side. Very weary, though. He doesn't exactly know, but he might just stick this plant here. It might help the team out immensely. He is going to do that. Brolin creeping up. Creeping. creeping. It's going to be an easy defuse. The bomb plant for complexity. So props to Blame F for that, but um, I think it's starting to get a little scary for the North American organization. Is that OT I smell? It could be. OT. Just for you, just for me. Fanatic. I mean, we've seen them before on the other side of things. Confidence stuff from JW taking two down on the ramp and heavy fights favoring the CTs. Obviously, low money for Cole. Now comes the big buy. Three in a row from Fnatic up against match and series point. Double AWP as well. They're still throwing spanners in the works. That's not something Cole have had to de uh, deal with so far on this T side. Will they be ready for it. Quick peek on B. Flusher backs up. Config running through this smoke. No fear. But also nobody here. Fnatic going back to the site, playing safe. Poison's gone on the ramp. Crims through the corner of the smoke, sprays him down. Poison's been so good at getting those opening kills, especially in the first half. So a big kill for Fnatic to find. Weakening the opposition once again. Roland Molly down. He's got to go, and he takes a kill with him, even if he's dead here, which he's not. That is valuable for Fnatic. He survives on four points of health. Can still be of help. Complexity just stuck, waiting for more aggression to get given their way. And plus, you know, when, when you play four by three, Hugo, yep. you really do see life in a different perspective, both in and out of game. That's pretty much the way it is. Ooh. Oh, timing for JW. But it is blame, left alive, all alone again. And the race. Crim's wrapping around behind him. He's pretty screwed. Does someone want to tell him? <laughs> I don't want to tell him, but we're going to have to. Ooh, there it is. Crims, 12 on the board now. Fnatic, three away from an overtime. And money not looking great for Cole. 
Nice little harmonious tone being sung there. You can see Brolin smiling. Yeah, and that's dangerous, right? Fnatic starting to believe in themselves now after what has been a really slow start to this map, after they got battered on the first uh, first map of the series as well, and only just clinched out an OT win on Nuke. Like, this has been a heads-up counter-strike from Fnatic, and four in a row, confidence back. They've got to deal with an A-rush. This is it. This is the round Fnatic have been waiting for, and that grenade is a huge, so much damage, almost 200. Crimson's going to continue to spray, but he gets taken down. It's golden on short to deny what would have not been the plan. It's coming up late in the back of Oboe. Blame does kill Golden in the site, and now the CTs are actually been pushed out. Double orb retake. We talk about how this is a problem, but JW's found an AK, and running right back is complexity. All three players. Roland's going to beat them to B. He will be there wherever he wants to be before them. That's why these footsteps are so loud, but it's all a fake. Cole were going aggressive, going loud to try and force Fnatic out of this site. At least put the numbers from three to two, and not just that, but now it's one. One man above it all, JW looking for the 30 bomb on the boost. All JW has to do is stay tucked in here and not get the first fight. Just let them wander right on past. Surely Fnatic thinks something's up now. There's the real possibility they've doubled back to eight oh, rounds. They, they should have seen him, Obo did, but JW is so fast to react. Yep. That's nuts. Sorry, Trace, for just cutting oh, you yeah, off you... mid monologue, but Obo. When he went round the back of the sandbags, he saw JW sticking out, right? Like he saw his back and JW hears the footsteps. He's a smart man. So he was like, well, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Better just shoot them all right now before that gets out of my hands. Yeah. And look at him. He's looking <laughs> scary as he's sat in this empty office building. It's now 13 for the Swedes. Two away from an overtime. Complexity Ooh. in with another bye. But they won't have much if this one doesn't go their way. Fnatic. They said it couldn't be done. I don't know who they is, but they were saying it. And here we stand. Five in a row. That number, it just keeps building. It just keeps getting closer. Oh boy, flashback in his golden. Takes a lot of damage through the smoke. Offers up nothing in response. Doesn't want to give away the kill though, so he will retreat to the site. No double orb, just flush. So we've been seeing this from time to time for Fnatic with JW dropping it to him and just playing a rifle. And with rounds like the one just gone by, it's no surprise why. Golden's now picked up the orb. He is low, playing towards CT. Molly on the sandbags. Fn okay, Fnatic just smoked the Molly, but it's worth noting the complexity didn't have anyone at the top of the ramp. They didn't see whether that came from the site or from the sandbag. So as far as they're aware, there could still be someone here. Flashback in, JW looks, but he sees nothing and he doesn't want to overplay his hand. Complexity, re-Molly back in. Now they can go with safety. JW, top performer in the site, swinging in. Poison gets him again, the king of these openers, but Crims trades and it's back and forth and back again. Crims is trapped. That nades oh, force no. disaster and they push complexity a man up. Brolin and Flusher, it's all on them to keep the comeback rolling in strong for Fnatic and now just one man, Flusher. That oh nade dear. could do damage, but it's not the low player. The uh -huh. spam does. Flusher, how on earth can he pull this one out of the hat? It feels impossible. But Flusher, there's the first. Now just Rush, left to deal with. He's swinging wide at ramp, oh. and Flusher's not ready for it. Complexity, they do get it over the line by the skin of their teeth. They take.